Hello beautiful family, Losing Drea here, and it's Monday, and you know what that means, time for another Monday mini food review where I taste it so you don't have to, and today I'm going to be reviewing for you these roasted seaweed snacks from Ocean's Halo. Walmart in the Asian section and there's been a lot of things I've been finding lately uh, that are new that I hadn't seen before in my Asian section at my local Walmart so I actually have tried these before I did a video and something happened with the video where it was really super pixelated and I didn't want to mess with y'all's eyes so I decided not to post that video and so I went out and when I got another pack of these I saw the new other flavor they didn't have there before so they're like little but slowly adding new things I guess as they see that people are buying them and that they'll sell in their store so it's the wasabi flavor which I'm imagining wasabi is a little hot so they're probably going to have a little spice and this is the sea salt flavor and um, if you remember from the last mini food review that I did on the uh, Trader Joe's seaweed uh, roasted seaweed pack then you'll know this is pretty much supposedly the same thing it's the same kind of snack just same flavor here but the wasabi is a different flavor um so anyways i'm gonna open the pack uh, i'll let you know that it has like the little sell by date up here in the crease well it says best if by here but the sell by date is right there which is nice and clear which if you've heard me say before i like that about packaging because i want to see when the best if used by date or when to chuck it date is um, on a package and there's sometimes packages where the uh, printing that they use, the choice of colors that they use along with the ink that they use for the branding or the printing of the sell by date, uh, sometimes you can't see it. Very annoying. Anyways, um, this particular snack, it's just roasted seaweed, sun, uh, is it sunflower oil? Or saffron oil. Sunflower oil. Yeah, sunflower oil and sea salt and organic seaweed. And basically, all the information I'll put down in the description box below along with the nutrition facts so you can follow along and determine whether or not it's something that you want to try. It, this one package is just one serving. Uh, if you watched my Trader Joe's uh, seaweed roasted seaweed snack you'll know that that was a two serving pack and it's much larger I actually took it out because I haven't eaten it. I actually took it out so that I can show you the difference in the packaging okay there's only like 10 sheets in the Walmart brand which is about 69 cents I think per pack and I believe this was about a dollar either a dollar 29 or a dollar 19 or or maybe it was even only 99 cents, somewhere in there. I'll have to check my receipt. But there's like 26 sheets, and it's two servings. So even that's like 13 sheets a serving compared to 10. Uh, the size of the sheets, I would say, are pretty much the same. Okay, I'm going to gonna show you here. They're, these are packaged differently. Like these like are flat one on top of the other where these are laid in there one on top of the other but sideways you know this way I don't know if you can see it but they're they're in there this way okay like like a like a Rolodex or something or a card index I don't know um but anyways these these are the ones we're trying today not to confuse you the back the package itself is hard to open so I had to snip it with a scissor and it's flat it I think they're a little flatter than the Trader Joe ones um, they have little dips and valleys in them also they're not extremely flat and I'm gonna let you hear the crisp but maybe they're not as crisp I don't know
Very good. I like that they have just like the right amount of sea salt on them. The ones that I had at Trader Joe's tasted like they could have used a little bit more of the sea salt taste on them. But these, they definitely are um, a lot less kelp tasting. I don't know. I was trying to explain in my last food review video when I did the Trader Joe roasted seaweed um, food review that I couldn't explain that like green earthy kind of taste that you get from basically seaweed is like sea kelp and it's a plant. So if you ever eat plants like kale or you know you know sometimes they have like a little earthy or nutty or dirt like taste or I couldn't really explain it but this doesn't have that okay that it, it had it slightly this doesn't have it as much and maybe it's because I've acquired the taste for it I don't know but I like them the fact that they have the salt on them I like because I like to rip them up and put the pieces of it and like Asian dishes that I'd eaten. When I used to eat rice, not being on a ketogenic diet, of course, because it's high in carbs and I don't do grain. Rice is obviously a major grain. Um, I used to chop up little pieces of it and sprinkle it all over my food, but you can also do that with salads. So don't think if you're on a ketogenic diet, you can't eat rice. You, you're not going to buy these for that reason. But just alone, on their own, they really, really make a nice, crispy, delicious snack. Definitely. Just my thought. I mean, I like sushi. I like nori. That's what this is. Um, and I really, really enjoy that that flavor. You know what I mean? That, you know, it, it tastes... When I eat it, I feel like I'm eating something healthy. I don't feel like I'm uh, overeating or eating something that I shouldn't be eating on a diet or, you know, going off my plan. I feel like... You know, I'm refreshed and I'm healthy and I'm getting a little bit of a crunch and a little bit of that salty flavor coming through that I enjoy and or have been obviously craving, which is why I bought them because I like them. Now we're going to try the wasabi ones. So, I'm doing the same thing. I'm cutting the label off. Uh, not the label, but the, you know. These have a little something going on in the package here. I don't know if you can see that, like crumbs. If I would have opened that up and it's any kind of, I'm going to pour it back onto it. It's salt. It looks like salt. It's probably some wasabi flavor. And uh, you have a little silica pack that are always come with these. No matter where I've bought them from, I've always found silica pack. You can save those. I've mentioned it before. You can save them, put them in a little Ziploc bag, and you can reuse them for other foods and stuff that you might want to keep moisture out of like if you pack to go away and whatnot some people use them to put in their luggage but if you buy nori in the big sheets which is basically what this stuff is you can cut it yourself um, and save some money on making your own little seaweed snacks placing them in a smaller ziploc bag like a little quart size ziploc bag and taking them on the go with you or in your lunch pail or whatever and you can reuse these silica packages. So don't throw them out when you get them. Uh, they are food grade silica because they came in food. I don't suggest using silica pack that maybe comes, I don't know, packaged down in a shoe box with a pair of boots or something. Because I've had that kind too. I don't know if they're the same. But I know this is food grade because it came with food. So I do put those in little Ziploc bags. And when I make my own nori sheets, I do reuse them. Um, so here we got... A sheet it's the same thing like I just showed you with the other one it's just gonna be a different flavor so um, I like again I like folding them because I don't want to look like Elsie the cow chomping on some hay nice and crunchy definitely taste the wasabi Now, it has a little bit of zing, but it's not, like, overpowering. Like, I don't know if you guys ever eat sushi and you or eat wasabi, but wasabi can, like, really, like, fire, okay? <laughs> and this isn't hot at all. I mean, it get a little bit of heat. So, t so minute, it's, it's, it's pleasurable. And I don't like hot stuff. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to write, rub some of that salt off of it. I'm going to eat another one just to be sure. Um, but they do give off a different flavor than the regular uh, sea salt ones, these. They are giving me a different flavor, and it's probably the wasabi uh, that's coming through, along with a little bit more of that 
seaweed or sea kelp flavor. Well, that one was a little bit more spicier. And I don't know if it's the stuff that's on it that I just rubbed off. Because like I said, it was like, I don't know if you can see that. It was all little specks of stuff. It was all in the package. Now my lips are a little fiery feeling. But again, it's not really bad, okay? It's not like the one chip challenge here. Look, truly, I didn't want to do this. It's on your tongue. The heat. The heat is on your tongue. Okay. I don't think this is good. It's hot. It's hot. Okay, guys. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I, I definitely would, would buy them again. Like, if they didn't have the sea salt ones on the shelf, I would buy these. Um, and or I would definitely buy them from my husband because my husband does like a little bit of that spice. And my mother also loves wasabi and she eats it when she eats sushi. I don't know how she does it. Um, I think she likes when flames blow out her nose. Um, but would I buy them again? Absolutely. I definitely would buy both of these products again. I'm so happy and I hope that they stay uh, on the shelves in my local Walmart. They are a USDA organic non-GMO verified product. I'm going to show them to you guys again. Well, I should have. Yeah, well, I opened it. I opened one on the bottom and I opened the other on the top. But, you know, because I don't want nothing falling out of the package. But here you go. Little, little thumbnail here. See? Definite, definitely um, yummy, yummy snacks. So, two thumbs up for the seaweed, sea salt, and the seaweed wasabi flavors. And if you haven't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button down below. Smash the bell if you want to be notified of all new food reviews or other ideas as I put them out for you when I put them out. Uh, sometimes go live and do a couple of other fun things here on my channel. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them down below. And as always, be happy, be healthy, be beautiful, but just be you. Be the boss of your loss if you're on a weight loss journey. And I will definitely be seeing you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Be blessed.